G'day, g'day. Thanks for watching and I hope you're well wherever you are in the world right now. On the weekend just gone, I shot a 21st for a young guy in the city here in Wellington. Now for this shoot, I had my camera set up with a GoPro underslung. It was the GoPro Hero 9. I was using it to try and test out how the GoPro works in those low light conditions. And as you'll soon see, it's not the greatest. But the point of this video is not about the GoPro, it's to show you how I went about shooting the 21st and the sort of challenges you face along the way. So we're not gonna muck around, we'll get straight into it. I've got the video here, it's nice and quick, we're gonna rattle through it. I'm gonna show you what happened on the night and then show you a few of the photos and then wrap up with my recommendations at the end. Let's do it. Okay, well thanks for sticking around. I've got the video here, we're gonna play it up now and I'll just talk through it to let you know uh, what was happening at the time and what I was thinking and also give you some tips to, that may help you when it comes time to photographing events. Now just bear in mind that photographing inside nightclubs or pubs is really bloody difficult because it's so dark. As you know, the key to photography is light and in this situation there's, there was no light. As you'll see, it's immensely dark. So on the setup I had, I actually had a speed light flash and the object of that was to bounce flash and to fill in the light in the background and the environment. And then I had a fixed LED light, which I was adjusting with a power dial to cast light onto the people in the photographs to light the foreground of the scene, if you like. And that's what you'll see as I show you the photos. So here comes the video, let's get into it. Okay, so here we go to start off. Initially, I just take some establishing shots going around, getting my exposure right. So here we got these couple of guys on the couch. I took a couple of shots of them. I also do a little bit of scene sanitation, moving things out of the way just to make the image a bit cleaner. It saves work in Photoshop later. As you'll see here, the top of the glass and the top of the can is not visible. But you can see how dark it is in this venue. So you can see the flash light in the background. I've also got the LED light to light those blokes there. It seemed to do a pretty good job. And during this whole process, I'm looking for opportunities to take more photographs. I want to be able to deliver as many photographs to the clients. I'm always looking for opportunities to shoot. These guys here gave me the opportunity, and as you can see with these girls here, they were more than happy for me to take the shot, which I dutifully did. And then what I also recommend is to take multiple shots. Keep shooting. Lock in your shutter speed, particularly when it's dark like this, and always check your settings regularly because it's very easy for you to knock your shutter speed and introduce camera shake or blurring or other things into your shots. I always look to take shots from another angle. So as you saw just then, I photographed from one side and then jumped around and took the shot from the other side. I also believe as a photographer, access all areas. I go where I want to go. I also keep shooting till I get the shot. Here it comes. There it is. So you're waiting, you're looking for the moment, you take the shot. There's always a lot of activity going around the edges of the event, so I'm looking for opportunities to take candid shots showing people engaging with each other at the party. And then I recommend here, just keep shooting. Keep shooting until you see a moment. Try different angles. I'm going for the low angle here and I'm waiting for the moment. I look for the laugh and there it is, take the shot. And then it's about working the scene. I move around the scene looking for new angles, new opportunities to take photos in that series to deliver to the client. Okay, here I missed my focus, but it's still a shot I can deliver. Shows the focus on the mother at the event. I missed it, but never mind. Here I'm looking for just shots of people watching the proceedings. Interesting moments like this. I then look to shoot through a natural frame so I can show the story that there are people there that are listening, they're watching, and you can see that in these photos here. I look to tell the story. This young bloke was too noisy for him, so I want to tell that story. I want to share it. I also get, I want to get right in amongst the action. I want to be right there when the action happens so I can get those shots. So you've got to keep moving around the scene, around the venue, looking for new shots, new angles. I want to show the crowd. I want to show how they're interacting with the focus of your image. In this case, it was the young guy, Ben, his 21st. He is the focus. I want to show all his friends. They're sharing the moment with. I want to fill the frame of all the people. So it looks like there's heaps of people there. Here I'm at the back, I'm looking for these moments. The glass is up in the air, that's the celebration. Don't miss this shot. And you can hear here, I'm stoked to get the shot. I'm looking to see both their faces above the crowd. Once again, tell the story. We're all here for Ben. That's what they need to know. And again, I'm looking for that framing. I know it's a bit of a cliche, but I'm always looking to tell the story through layers. So we've got a guy uh, making a speech here and we'll show the crowd around, that sort of thing. 
So that was a bit of an insight as to how I move around actually shooting at the 21st. I know that was pretty quick and didn't get a lot of time to dwell on it, but let's have a look now at some of the photos which I thought were my favourites. I really, really like this one. I was behind the ladies, I waited for them to turn, I took the shot. This one here's a great group shot. So sharp with this photo here. I really like to take photos of the client. These really moments, always looking for someone smiling or laughing or doing something, some sort of action to attract attention to make the photo interesting. I love this shot here. I love the shot of the brothers here, the excitement, the, the intensity is showing right there. You know, the storytelling, it's all in these photos. That's what I'm looking for. I want them to convey something to the clients, to show them that I managed to get everything there. Here we go, some more really nice sharp photos. You're looking to hit that focus. Again, there's some interesting shots here, shooting through glass, shooting double exposures. Look for areas of interest, look for that natural framing. I really like to convey that. And you're looking for interesting shots all throughout the night. And as you can see here, all these shots look really quite light. Whereas as you saw in the video, the venue was very, very dark. So that's the challenge, extracting light or putting light into the scene to make the shots worthwhile to make them able to be seen and that's what I've done in this case. This last image here is of the client. She's in there, the person who pays me, I always make sure to get them in a fantastic shot because I know they're looking for it to help make them aware it was worth paying me to be there. Okay, so that was the video and now for my recommendations. I take a bit of a breath because I have not stopped talking since this video started. But anyway, my recommendations for shooting these events is to get in there, get your establishing shots, lock in your exposure, always keep moving, I'm always moving. What's going on here, man? Have I got some? Whoa, that's even worse. I don't want to deliver a portfolio of shots all taken from this angle. I want to add interest and, and tell stories from different places in the venue. So I'm always on the move. I take the concept of fire and movement. So you post up, focus, take the shot, move. Take the shot, move. Take the shot, move. You're looking for new angles. Maybe you shoot low to add a sense of real drama to the shot. Or maybe you shoot high to get that bird's eye overview of the situation. Maybe you go and get right into the action and just pop some shots very, very close. Maybe you do all of those things for a particular scene. The other thing I suggest is to really work the scene. While you're there taking photographs, look for other photographs in the area. Can you turn and deliver some more photographs? If you hear a noise, move to it, shoot it. If you see some activity, move to it, shoot it. If you hear laughing, if you hear shouting, if you hear excitement, any of those things, move to it, shoot it. I've got access all areas. I go where I wanna to go to get the shot. I'm being paid to be there to get the shots I'm gonna make sure I get. Another tip is to keep shooting. You could be working through on Lightroom after the event and you may have taken 10 photos of a scene and you've got nine photos deep and all of them are out of focus or camera shake and it could be the very last one that's in focus that you can use, that you can deliver. Just keep clicking, just keep shooting. Check your settings regularly. Even if you've locked your shutter in or all of that sort of thing, you can knock it, settings can change, something can happen, and before long you could have a whole series of photographs that are either wildly overexposed, underexposed, blurry, out of focus, any of those problems with them. Check your settings periodically. Take a series of shots, check the settings again. Now on this particular event, I had my shutter locked in at 1, 1 25th of a second, but on occasions I'd look down and all of a sudden it'd be 1 60th, or it'd be 1 400th, or the ISO would have bounced like 12,800, making the photos I'm taking undeliverable. So you need to check your settings regularly, you need to adjust them. All right, let's wrap it up. You saw what it was like for me and how I took the photos and how I worked that scene. I hope those tips work out for you, or you can take something out of them. If you have any questions, by all means, ask me down below. I'll be more than happy to share information with you. In the meantime, the main thing is to get out there and shoot these type of things if you get the opportunity. Maybe you have family events that you can shoot for. Once you know you can do them, then you can start plying your services out, actually getting money for the work you do. And believe you me, with the proliferation of smartphones out there now, once you deliver these photographs, it's gonna be instantly obvious why they hired you to do that job. The photos are way better quality, way better composed, way better focused. 
I mean, all round, it's a great idea for someone to hire you as their professional photographer for their 21st, for their wedding, for their event, for whatever it is. You are the man, you are the woman, you are the one. Be confident, back yourself, get in there, shoot hard. In the meantime, subscribe if you want to. We're coming out of Wellington, New Zealand, so it could be a different perspective. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Otherwise, we'll catch you on the next one. Hey, and before I go, please look after yourself and look after your family and friends and stay safe out there. Catch you next time. Cheers.